everyone welcome back to salesforce velocity course in this session we are going to check out conditional view and merge syntax in omniscript all right so in the previous sessions we did one of these use cases so let me just go ahead and show you the scenario or the requirement that we have so that with that with the help of that requirement we'll see how we can apply a conditional view and how we can make use of uh, merge syntax, all right? So this is uh, my Omniscript, okay? And I'll just tell you what and all I have done here. So I have step one where I have this text box where I would be entering the account name. After that, I'm calling a data raptor and that data raptor will fetch the results based on like, you know, whatever input that I give here, right? And so if I give like, you know, a keyword such as anything, right? So this data raptor will receive that keyword and it will query the accounts and it will give the results back. And once I have that on the next screen, it is going to pre-populate all the values. So let me quickly show you what happens here. So if I give this key keyword in the next screen, it fetched like, you know, the data raptor call happened, fetched the results and it gave us everything back. Okay. So once I have these things, um, so let's say if like, you know, on the previous screen, if someone enters something which is like, you know, totally random and there is no account with that keyword. Okay. So let me clear the data and show you. So let's say if I enter something like this and if I click on next, then it is just showing me the blank value, but rather I want to display an error message, right? As, such as like, you know, no data found something like that. Right. So like based on the condition itself, based on only based on the condition, it should display me the data, right? So if the data is available, if we got something back in the result, then only it should display. Otherwise, it should just give me a message saying no data found. Okay, so let's just go ahead and see how that can be done. Okay, so for that, uh, first of all, under display, right, under the available components panel, there is this action called display, okay, this under display tag. So you need to first drag and drop it in your step, okay? Step two, and here, once you have this headline tag over here, you can give whatever message you want, right? So uh, here I'll just give no data found, okay? Invalid input or something like this. And then also you can like, you know, format it the way you want. You can like, you know, keep it in the center, make it bold and you can change the text of the color, like, you know, color of the text as well, okay? And you can also, uh, I mean, there are other couple of things that you can do with this. All right. So once we have this, let's just go ahead and see what happens. Clear the data. So you can see this message coming up, right? No data found in palette invalid input, but we don't want to see these fields if there is no data. Okay. So basically we want to hide all of this. If there is no data found okay so let's just go ahead and see how that can be done so basically you can navigate to these fields and you can apply conditions okay so for example on all the fields right so for account id if there is no account id okay does not equal to blank so we should only be showing this field if this is not blank okay and then we have to apply the similar conditions so this is for account name, right? So, and does not equals to blank. These, the values that you're seeing, like, you know, which is populating over here is nothing but your, uh, the element name of all these fields, okay? So here, industry, and then add condition. Does not equal to blank. And let's just add the same for description, okay? does not equals to blank all right so this is done now let's just go ahead and see what's happening okay so let me clear the data and then do it again and here it shows no data found invalid input right so and you're not seeing the other fields because we applied the condition on the other fields okay now there's one more thing that like, you know, uh, I, there's another thing that I want to show is, so 
if you see right there's a lot of manual work that i did here right i applied the condition on each and every field by going on each and every field right and if you see this i icon that shows that like you know if this particular element has some condition applied okay so in that case what you can do is you can include a block which will be available under group okay so just drag and drop this block here and then include all the fields inside that block so account id name industry and description so basically now you can apply the condition on the block itself rather than applying it on each and every element okay so here let's just remove all these conditions okay i'm going to remove this and again here i'm going to remove this and then here i'm going to remove this as well and we can remove this as well okay and then on the block okay if i click on the block here we have something such as condition and i want to display the block only when the name does not equals to blank okay so only if there is some value in that then only this block will be displayed otherwise not okay so let me go ahead and check out the preview so let's clear the data and let's just give something here now you can see right so rather than applying condition on each and every field i just applied one condition on the block okay and it started working now there is another thing okay let's say if i go to let me show you something else as well okay so here now let me enter a valued input okay let's say out front so i know that there is an account in my org with name media out front so it should give me one result back okay so if i click on next we still see this right no data found in valid input and you know why this happens because all these calls are actually like you know it's sequential but this is happening asynchronously right so that means when you are uh, like you know how your dom works is that it will first load the html right and then it like you know works on the data okay so what is happening in this case is that before the server call is even completed it is loading the html so it is not waiting for the data like you know to to receive the data but it is not waiting for the server call to get completed and it is loading the html okay and that is why even when you are entering a valid input okay you are still getting this one because the html gets loaded first okay it is not waiting for the server call so in omni script in order to avoid this condition what you can do is you can go back to either you can go back go to like you know each and every field and like you know do this or you can like you know if you have used a block then you can just do this in like you know on a block so there is this option available here available for pre fill when hidden okay so once you do this it is going to wait for the server call to happen and after that only it is going to load the html okay so like you know how dom normally works it is just going like you know it is just going to kind of like you know stop that okay and it is this checkbox will make sure that like you know once you have your data then only the html will load and then it will display your data so it will wait for the server call okay so now and i have just applied here on the block because i'm using the block otherwise if let's say if, if i was not using the block then i would have done this on each and every field i would have gone to account and i would have checked this checkbox i would have gone to name and then i would have checked this checkbox industry and then i would have checked this checkbox right and this checkbox is only checked when you have some condition right then only it makes sense right why would you want to like you know kind of like you know stop the html load like you know for your server call right so if there is a condition then only this makes sense like you know to check this out so as we had removed the condition from all the fields there was no need to check this out but here on the block itself we have applied both the things right the condition and the checkbox uh, like you know this available for pre fill when hidden checkbox as well right now let's just go ahead and check out the preview so let me clear the data and we'll check out both the conditions okay with valid input and with invalid input so let me start with uh, invalid input so this is invalid input it should show me no data found no data found now let me clear the cache and this time we will enter a valid input so let's say this now you can see this value right this is still getting displayed no data found invalid input let me go back and check what's happening with this so let's just go to the headline that we have so this is always displaying right 
so we should be adding a condition here so this should only display in like you know when uh, there is no data right so let's just put a condition here when name equals to blank right there is the, when there is no data then only it should get displayed and i think this much should be enough let's just go to preview and clear the data and i'll enter a valid input again out front next here right that message is gone right because we had not applied any condition right so it was always getting displayed all right uh, on that like you know particular uh, headline component all right so this is uh, how you can like you know apply conditional view all right and just like you know all you have to keep in mind is that if you are making some server calls then you have to like you know check on this otherwise your html will always get loaded first and then you'll be assuming that like you know what's wrong so uh, keep in mind about these things and this is generally checked when you have like you know some condition that you have applied all right now let's just check one more thing about the merge syntax so here let's say if i want to uh, let me go to a okay let's say let's say when i am saying no data found an invalid input right and along with this i also want to display the input that user has entered here right i want to display this input after the uh, error message right then how i can do that for that you can go to the headline okay and here you can actually use merge syntax for that you have to use percent percent sign and inside uh, those percent signs you have to provide the element name okay so element name of account name is this and then we'll go back to the headline and keep this here Okay, now let's just go ahead and check. Let's just clear the cache. And uh, let me enter something random. So now you can see that it is also giving us the input that user has entered. Okay, so this is how you can like, you know, use merge syntax and also like you know this might also like you know you would be thinking that okay if this was the case then why did we not just simply use it on these elements right why did we do all of that in order to like you know display the value but this kind of merging only like you know uh, it works with like you know this free text kind of a place okay so that is why you cannot apply those over here so um I think that's it. These are like you know, very simple examples, but I think it's good for you to get started with. And if you want to practice more scenarios, if you want to practice more merge syntax or conditional view, you can uh, like, you know, I can maybe next session, I can provide like, you know, a list of assignments, like, you know, which you can practice. But I think this should give you a clear picture on at least how, like, you know, it can be done and how to get started with it. All right. So that's it for this session. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.